today we have uh, Dr. Krishna Murthy, who has completed his master's from NIT Trichy and has completed his doctorate from Arial University in Israel. And we are just going to casually get to know him and get to know his uh, field of interest and why he chose to do PhD today. He's continuing his postdoc in Ben Gurion University. Welcome, Dr. Krishnamurthy. Thank you. Thank you, Ashwarya. Can you please uh, tell uh, us tell about your uh, area of interest? Yeah, uh, I'm working on the metal organic framework for water splitting reactions. And uh, currently, I'm doing the same work and uh, I'm doing uh, some additional work like metal dichalconides for the same water splitting reactions. Okay, sounds very difficult. So let's start with some simple questions. Uh, how and why did you get into PhD? Yeah, uh, as you know, like uh, I start, I did my master's in NIT Trichy. So there I was started working in uh, methanol oxidation fuel cells. So uh, after my master's, I start, I continued that project for six months. There I got an interest on research and I thought of doing uh, uh, more explorations in this field. So I I, I thought of uh, doing a PhD and that was especially in abroad. Okay. Uh, okay. Who was your favorite scientist and why? I have a lot of scientists to tell, but uh, mm, among all, like uh, I like my professor, Professor Dan Meyerstein. He's a big role model of me, really, like uh, in research, because he works with the Fenton reagent and uh, he is a core chemist, like uh, because I learned a lot of things not only research, the way a person should be, and a lot of uh, things from him. Uh, especially uh, when you when when you look into his topic, like he he goes in depth into the topic. Like he works with the Fenton's reagent radicals. So when you talk about a simple science, he like he works. He goes in depth into that uh, topic, and he explores more in that. So I liked the way he does research. So um, I can tell he is my role model of me, like for me. It must be great working under your role model, isn't it? Yes, of course. OK, um, so what are the important challenges that you had faced during your research? Mm -hmm. in, in my initial stage, I didn't face that much. But uh, at the end of my PhD, I faced a lot. I like uh, the first thing is like, a, uh, uh, you have some problems with your uh, research is the characterizations. First of all, if you are not in a well reputed, uh, like a, in a big university, because I'm, I did my PhD in Ariel University, which they started like, uh, like it, it converted into university like uh, last seven years before. So still for some characterization, we want to depend on some other university, big universities. So there I face some difficulties as well as at the end of my PhD, I faced uh, uh, problems like mostly you we are focused on publications. So when you don't have a publication at the end of the research, like PhD, you will have some difficulties. I just gone in not a big. It was not a big difficult for me, but I faced little bit in that. Apart from that, my PhD career was really nice. I enjoyed the entire journey. I mean, to complete a PhD minimum, it it should minimum take about four, four, four to five years close to. I'm sure you must be having a lot of up and downs and a lot of stressful times. So how do you de deal with stress? Yes, uh, frankly speaking, like uh, when compared with others, I don't have, uh, I didn't face that much stress in my PhD life because my professor, uh, he's a good person. Uh, so whenever I face some difficulties, he is there to help me to solve it. And as well as like, I work more independent in my PhD okay, throughout my four years. So it's all like uh, I started a new project and I I started building that come uh, project. So yes, of course it's a difficult thing, but I literally enjoyed the work. So I didn't find more stressful because I didn't take it more because it's my research. So I didn't think it's a stress for me. And my uh, from my professor's side also, he encouraged me always. So I can tell it's not a, a stressful thing, but I enjoyed. That is really nice. I mean, we don't really 
hear people who have completed their phd saying i enjoyed the difficulties enduring during this uh you you spoke very fondly about your professor so maybe know who your professor is yeah my professor is uh, dr thomas itki i am his first phd student and uh, i have two professors uh, one is dr thomas itki i am working directly under him and uh, professor dan maestin whom i told he's a role model of so that is really sweet uh, so i've heard a lot of people complaining or saying that doing phd is very very difficult at times and you know to retain your positivity throughout the four years and maintaining your sa- sanity and completing it is really difficult so was your phd as difficult as you expected it to be mm, no it was not difficult for me but it was difficult in my last 6 months because uh uh i got my first publication in my uh, third year like in my uh, after three and a half years so there i was having a really stressful like even i was okay with my research but I, the next step is to get a postdoc position in some work so that time you need more publications so in that case i faced some uh, i was having a difficult time in that time as well as when you finish your phd there are a lot of things to wind up and uh, first of all is the publication and the next thing okay what's next so uh, that's the only thing i faced so uh, like you said you said you had find found publications or publishing your work very difficult why is it that while publishing it the difficulty arises mm, it's because of uh, people here like how do they re- do research it's not what you If if you get a uh, result, they don't want to publish it. They are uh, dealing with uh, like uh, something different. Like it's they are not focused on publication. First of all, they just want to do science. So when you even you get some results, they are more uh, they are they wanted to do something better. They don't want to stop in a small thing. So in that way, even I had results in my first year. I got my i wrote my uh, public like first two papers in my first uh, two years itself but still we are investigating a lot in that and uh, we found more interesting things going on in, into that so we thought instead of publishing it to better understand what's going on with the si- system and to explore more in science in my field so it took lot of time like because for getting a publication i i can literally tell in my field you can get a publication if you work really hard uh, like 6 months but in core level if you want to st- uh, learn something literally which is useful for science you need to be uh, e- exploring something which is a uh, more related in depth into what you were working on so for exploring that you need more time to understand you all system and to explore it so it took st- it took time for me but i'm happy i learned that's a lot really, that's really nice uh, i have got a lot of friends who are cons- uh, i mean pursuing their phd and uh, once they work on a particular topic for about say 6 to 8 months together and they do not get their desired results they turn very negative so how do you keep yourself motivated do you surround yourself with positive people who are passionate with science or do you just get get it through by yourself mm, no it's always you want a positive surrounding within you because uh, when you get a negative results first of all the uh, main thing is you want to discuss your uh, your the science with someone who is a uh, expert in this field even if if they are not expert first of all you need to discuss with your friends when you start discussing something you will come to, you, you will come to something it sometimes most of the things what i got in research uh, i used to discuss with my friends a lot and while discussing suddenly it will get striked within me so even they are related the friends whom you are discussing may be related or not related to your research but start discussing with your friends even they may be not an expert in your field but once you start uh, discussing with your friends or colleagues you will one day you will ca- you will get an answer for your difficulties that is really nice 
So since there is uh, always some or the other development happening continuously in your field and all the other fields, that because there's science, I mean, there's research happening all the time. How do you keep yourself up to date to the level? Yeah. Uh, obviously, you need to be updated in what you are doing because uh, there are a lot of publications. People, uh, people are doing uh, great science nowadays. Like I can see a lot of uh, research, uh, like out outcome coming up from a lot of uh, big groups. Because I am working in uh, water splitting reactions, and I see a lot of uh, publications coming daily. So always, you need to be uh, up to date in what you are doing. So always, what I do is like. Mm, half a day I spent uh, sitting in front of in, in front of my computer, just searching for articles related to my field, like my research topics. And till now I didn't stop uh, uh, reading. Always read. Even if you achieve something, read. The more you read, it's uh, good for you and for your research. So in that way, I keep me updated. So even I recommend yeah. all the all of my friends to do this. Even you in your if you are in your final year, just don't stop reading. Uh, not only science, everything. Just read. You then you will be uh, updated in, in your field. Okay, that's nice. Do you uh, have any particular forum that you go to read these articles? Uh, no, you can just Google it. Uh, since uh, for most of the publications, you. you uh, if you are in an institution, you will get an access, but uh, in India, you will have this difficulty getting access for that publication. But um, for me, I didn't face the problem, but uh, if you are in home or in some, in that places, it's, you will face this difficulty. Okay. But uh, you just feel it, at least you will get an abstract, like you will just come to know what's going on. Even if you are not getting a full uh, content, but you will just get an outline. That is nice. Uh, since we have already uh, covered this up, that uh, publishing is one of the difficulties that you had faced. So are there any other difficulties that you had to overcome while finishing your PhD? Mm. I can tell you like uh, some politics. Uh, <laughs> it's not here. Yeah. Uh, it's not here where I did, but uh, I don't know about India, but uh, sometimes you will have uh, politics within uh, within lab like among uh, like can be like a, if you are not having a friendly atmosphere with, like relation between your professor and a student then you will have difficulties while finishing your phd since i didn't face it uh, i don't have any experience like i don't have anything to tell from my experience but it's my point of view maybe you will have some difficulties in public publishing uh, like uh, because of these issues okay so apart from phd what do you do like what are your hobbies and do you read or play or what exactly do you do to keep uh, yourself motivated uh, till now i keep uh, in my it's been like 5 years uh, i'm i'm in israel and uh, i never missed uh, any week where i I usually play cricket. So in all the weekends, I play like weekly twice we play. So whatever the case, even in my PhD defense, on that week also, I I went for playing cricket because it makes me more motivated and refreshed. So always, it's not about uh, only playing cricket. Like everyone has their own uh, 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 hobbies, which makes uh, them more motivated in that way. For me, cricket makes me more motiv motivated and refreshed. Spoken like a true Indian, is it? Uh, yes. So let's go ahead. Uh, do you have any advices to the new researchers who are having uh, doubts about joining, uh, pursuing PhD or anything else? Yes, yeah, so like uh, I have a lot to tell. Like, uh, but I will, I'll just uh, tell a few points because uh, there are a lot of options available uh, to do PhDs in abroad, but most of the people uh, because of lack of uh, information and uh, they are not getting because uh, when you do your masters uh, or bachelors in a repeater like uh, in a big universities you will uh, have an option to know or you will have some ideas to know okay you can do phds in abroad but people who work in uh, 
uh, who did their masters in some colleges even they don't know like they don't know the what are the uh, criteria or eligible uh, things even they don't have any idea okay they can also do phds in uh, abroad so first of all i just want to tell everyone um, it it may like a, you don't need to think about where you did your masters even if you have a publication or not everyone can do phds in abroad just they should be Mm, more interested in science and they should start searching just you google it like you can find lot of vacancies opportunities just they themselves uh, they should start searching for options and there are a lot of options available outside and uh, along with funding i i just i would like to tell like uh, when you do uh, phd in abroad first of all like uh, you do good research, like i'm um, you have a lot of things to explore in research and as well as you are financially okay because you in india you have uh, most of the issues because with the funding so when but when you do phd in abroad you will get a scholarship which will be uh, okay for you uh, covering all the expenses here as well as you can save some money which you can send to your home in that way you can support your family as well as you can build your research career so this is what like i just want everyone to keep searching and just be up, updated regarding the vacancies okay. mm-hmm. that is really nice uh Uh, can uh, uh, what made you interest in your particular topic or what built this interest that you wanted to pursue in this particular topic mm. apart from your professor you said you were interested because he had a very good strong hold on the subject but apart from that what in, what inclined you towards this subject yeah uh, this subject this field is new to me like the water splitting reactions is new to me but in research i got interested in my masters as i told you when i started working in my master project uh, it took time uh, for me to know about uh, uh, science and like because in the initial stage you face a lot of uh, negative results you will get a lot of negative results so always when you start a thing like when you get a neg- negative results you think okay you we are not doing something great but then i understood okay when you get more negative results you get more chances of learning things which is a more in, a important thing in research so that made me more interest and then i started uh, uh finding more uh, what do you call like starting searching in research i just whatever i am doing i just started thinking a lot that made me more in this okay we can also do research just you need to have a curiosity that is nice uh, would you like to share a broad spectrum about what you have been doing so far like in your phd work or uh, anything that you are working on right now or the goal or the new in, new innovative thing that you are working for towards yeah mm, now uh, in my phd i started with uh, let me uh, just elaborate a few things in my phd i started working with a few things uh, i started in my first year i started with a project here which was uh, an industrial project dealing with some uh, nuclear research uh, waste like coal fly ash and uh, mimicking them with nanoparticles for uh, some to trap some uh, radioactive waste so i am trying to mimic uh, uh, the coal fly ash uh, with nanoparticles for uh, trapping that nano uh, radioactive waste but in my first two years i started working with that project but it was a complete uh, you can tell i was in the half the way i couldn't able to um, end up the project because it was a really a tough it's an industrial project uh, Uh, then i stopped the project and i started shifting to the the new field which i am working the electrochemistry electrocatalytic like in water splitting reactions and i do some photo experiments also photochemistry also but 
here i'm mainly focused on like uh, the materials what i'm working on so i work with some semiconductor based material like titania tao2 or something and uh, like metal di chal dichalconites mos2 and metal organic frameworks this all materials are good for like energy storage applications and some yeah like for our day to day life so i'm currently working on this materials to op uh, like tuning this materials in atomic level for energy storage application you can tell is a batteries or co2 conversion like or uh, like wastewater treatment in that way so this is the broad like uh, this is the area what i am working on because uh, my phd is a completely is a uh, different like i end up my thesis with one topic but i worked with a lot of topic i can tell that now i am currently working on electrocatalytic like atomic level uh, like tuning the materials in atomic level and their application in electrocatalytic water splitting reactions wow that is really interesting uh, let's uh, conclude by one last question uh, i would want to ask you how do you maintain your work and life balance i'm sure you're supposed to keep your personal and professional lives you know, at a balance so how do you keep that it's all like a, um, first of all it's uh, my research i don't work for my professor or my or someone else so i work for myself so whenever i work i give time for myself and my family as so well like my social thing like i would like i like to travel a lot so you can i forgot to tell you this mm, i travel i just sorry to uh, uh, let me tell one more thing like i like to travel a lot the one advantage like the benefit i got when i mean when i was doing phd in abroad is like you can go for a conference in your phd like your phd like a two years once or like so i went like uh, uh, for in my phd time like i went two times for a conference so there you can start uh, meeting a lot of uh, uh, big persons who are experts in your field as well as you have a chance to explore like to go to a different place explore new things so this is what i enjoyed a lot and as for, and apart from that i like traveling so apart from this i traveled almost 5 6 countries in my phd life with my like uh, since i am getting a fellowship so with that i am managing everything i supported my family so i suggest everyone it's good like if you do research in india i am happy with this but if you literally want to do uh, phd in abroad i i suggest you okay try and with financial support there are a lot of options either you will uh, you need to apply uh, for the funding like for funding you can apply separately or whenever you get uh, if you get a position in some unit universities the university itself will provide a uh, scholarship which will be enough for you as well as your your, your for maintain like you can have a savings within with you so in that way it's really good and uh, yeah i keep myself balanced in this way so i just keep time for myself sometimes i work uh, late night but the next time the next day i will take a break so it's not like i have an office time or something in my phd life i had time for myself so i had more time to relax and think what i'm doing on so in that way i did my phd really great because i got i got lot of time for myself so whenever you get time for yourself you will get uh, some good results like as well as in your in your in your life also so always give time for yourself if you are not giving time for yourself you will end up in nothing that's well said uh, thank you so much dr krishna murthy for taking time and talking to us and make getting us aware of what are the difficulties that you might face and uh, all the very best for your future interviews thank you and uh, i can like uh, uh, if 
anyone is interested in doing phd abroad they can contact me i can share my email and uh, all the details so i can support them at any time they can text me or mail me or i can i can help them in any case so there are a lot of opportunities just you need to find it thank you thank you so much dr krishnamurthy thank you